Hey, what's good, y'all? Fusion here, back in my last video. I'm in today. We're uh, with Vegas. Uh, Vegas, what do you got to say to the people? Hey, what's going on, Vegas here? All right. Um, yeah, so uh, make sure uh, to like, comment, and subscribe. And we're going to go ahead and be talking about this Obi-Wan series. Um, trash. Yeah, so basically, yeah, so what he says, trash. Uh, first, I do want to give you guys a little bit of backstory just about like myself and my relationship with star wars um vegas actually told me about star wars first and then i watched all of the movies and i thought that they were all right uh but my favorite parts of star wars are like the video games i love playing star wars video games i love the whole lore of it as well and i was pretty excited for this um vegas what about you what is your like relationship with star wars well i grew up with star wars um, my dad is the one that got me hooked onto it. He's the one who took me to the movies. He's the one that got me the toys, the games, everything. So I have the clothing for Star Wars. I have the toys for Star Wars. I had the video games for Star Wars. I had the movie collections for Star Wars. I have the Disney Plus subscription to watch all the Star Wars shows that they come out with. I've seen most of the Star Wars that they put out. Um, including the Clone Wars TV series, the uh, all the live action TV series they've come out so far. So yeah, I'm really, really into Star Wars like that because I like I like the uh, franchise. Yeah, so that just shows that we have some sort of idea of what Star Wars is and what it's supposed to be. Um, so this is why it was a shock uh, to see this sorry. This garbage, this trash, this boring um, show, man. Um, first, I'm just going to let Vegas take over because I'm sure he has a lot to say. All right. <laughs> so, if we're going to... Let, let's break down <laughs> what Obi-Wan Kenobi was supposed to be about. Obi-Wan Kenobi was supposed... Because here's the thing. We already know Obi-Wan's story. He was supposed to watch over Luke Skywalker, and then he dies to Darth Vader when they go get uh, captured at the Death Star in Episode Four. So we know how Obi Wan dies, and we know how he got stuck in that situation where he was watching Luke from Episode Three. His whole job was to watch over Luke the entire time. That's what we thought was supposed to be his story, what he was supposed to be doing. So when Disney was like, "Hey," We're going to give y'all an Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Everyone was hyped. They were like, oh my goodness, we're about to get Obi-Wan Kenobi. And and what's best about this is that we got Hayden Christensen as well. They actually brought back the original duo, e Ewan McGregor and uh, Hayden Christensen. And we were like, all right, this is about to be good. So we thought the story was going to be about Obi-Wan and Hayden Christensen. What we got was... A random Leia, little girl Leia, some Reva, Re Reva girl that I have no idea who's, who her story is supposed to be, what they were trying to do with her. <laughs> and Obi-Wan was basically a, a punk who was getting whooped around by everyone until the very end where he had to rise up and become the Jedi he was supposed to be. And then he beat up Vader at the very end. That's, that's basically the story. That's the story where we got. We got bum Obi-Wan Kenobi trying to rise up to become a Jedi, basically. And people don't like that because they th thought Obi-Wan Kenobi, his story was just supposed to be about his story, watching over Luke, and his uh, the dark thoughts he had for failing his Padawan, Luke's, uh, Anakin Skywalker. So that's in terms of like what the story is and what we got. That's kind of the uh, the gist of um, what the Obi Wan Kenobi series is. I didn't even get into the quality of the show. This is just saying the story, so we'll probably get into the quality of the show later. But in terms of the story, that's the story what we got. Yeah, and a lot of people don't like that. Yeah, I personally didn't like it. Um, I was actually watching it with my girlfriend. Um, and she's not really a huge Star Wars person. Um, she actually just got done watching all of. Like the Star Wars movies, she actually likes uh, Ray a lot uh, for some reason. Uh, Ray is sort of trash in my opinion, but uh, that's just me. But um, she was even talking about it like I don't know something was off, like it wasn't um, 
it really didn't make sense. And there's a lot of scenes in there with, uh, what do people call her? Kid Leia or Baby Leia or what? A kid Baby Leia. Kid Leia is what I guess they would say. Where she was OP champ. She was running and dodging bounty hunters. She was like resisting a uh, force mind control. She was uh just uh, I don't even know, man. I don't even know where to start. I, I really I really don't understand Disney's idea of what their plan was. Like this is the whole reason why people don't like Disney stars because it seems like they don't have a plan for what they come up with stuff. And they just put it out there without looking at it. There were multiple scenes in this series that just looked terrible the graphics looked looking terrible there was obviously green screens used that looked terrible the they made the actual uh action scenes look terrible especially with bait with uh kid leia again like when she was getting chased down by bounty hunters it looked like she was running it's like it's not her fault that she's 10 years old running but if you're going to make a 10-year-old run, at least make it look convincing. Yeah, make it and look not... like it makes sense. Ain't no way that this little girl can do- uh, uh, can bob and weave grown, trained uh, bounty hunters. And how did the bounty hunter hit a tree? Like, he ran into a tree. Yeah, it may... If they don't get yeah, the Disney I, I looking... I laughing. Yeah, that was dumb, man. That was dumb. And then she got captured twice, didn't she? Back to yep. back capture. Yep. Oh my. That's her whole point of Leia. Her whole gist, her whole vibe is getting captured. She was captured in the first 10 minutes of New Hope, which is um, Star Wars episode four. Um, and, and then she got captured back to back in this. And I'm actually wondering. If they're ever gonna make some more like Leia content, because I don't want any. I'm I'm so we do, I'm we so do tired of Leia, bro. Any. We do not want any Leia content. We are fine with how they use Leia. We're we're good with Leia. We are we are settled with what we got for Leia. We don't need no backstory with Leia. Like I feel like they're gonna do some like teenage Leia story. I'm like, no, we don't want that. <laughs> No one's asking for that, but knowing Disney, they might come up with something for that. That's crazy. So, did you see or hear about them trying to make a season two, or do you know? Because I don't know, but I oh hope not. Because I don't want to. Because what they're gonna do is have him uh, train in the Force with Qui Gon, and um, I do believe it was Star Wars Rebels, where. Obi Wan or Ben, quote unquote, fought against uh Maul, like as himself being like grown, grown. Um, so I'm actually wondering if they are gonna touch on that. I hope not, cause I don't want to see this. I want to see new characters, or I want to see Luke, um, in his prime, prime Luke. I would want to see like a story around prime Luke, him his, like, journey becoming a, like, Jedi Master. Because you really didn't get a chance to see how strong Luke was that much. Right. Just in general. So, I did hear that they were trying to go for a season two. I don't get it. Like, it's the whole thing about I'm not sure what Disney's trying to do. Like, we already know Darth Vader's story. We we know how Obi-Wan dies. Is from Darth Vader from Episode Four. I really hope they're not going to try to involve Darth Vader more into Obi Wan if they're really trying to do a season two. The only reason I think they're trying to do a season two is because of Reva, that girl. That I, I don't understand why they had to just include her. Like her story had to be in this Obi Wan series for some odd reason. But the only reason I can see them doing a season two is because of her. And then Obi-Wan is it, it, either going to be involving Obi-Wan doing something, him learning something, or and Reva. It's those two. Like, I really hope they don't involve Darth Vader more, and I don't, they don't involve uh, Baby Leia more. 
or yeah. Ashley. I just want them to stop the series in general. This, this series needs to stop. I it's agree. Over. I just agree. And since you brought up Reva, I think we're going to have to do a whole separate like video. But I think Disney does this on purpose with their black characters. Write them trash. For example, Finn. We all know Finn's story and what it could have been, how good it could have been. But they trolled Finn. Um, Ice Cube's son, he was all right, but he really didn't have much like much in- involvement where I felt like he, he should have had more. I felt like <laughs> some of his like writing was off also. And overall... I just think that they don't know how to write a good black character. They they, they don't it's, at all. It's crazy to me. It's crazy to me how no they can't. It's not even like just make one decent story. We just want a story with a black character. It doesn't have to be like the main focal point. Exactly. Like, just man. just have someone that's a uh, a relevant uh black character that can be like that's all what we want. We like Finn. He got basically. His character destroyed. Uh, Ice Cube's character, uh, Ice Cube's son's character, not relevant at all. Reva, her character being boring and not exciting or not cool at all. So I don't know what's wrong with uh, just basically Star Wars creators and what, who who runs Star Wars and how they can't make a a, a nice character, nice black character. They had they had a chance with George Lucas had a chance with Mace Windu wasted him. Bruh, don't even get me started on Mace Windu on how mm-hmm. cool he could have been. Bro, they had Samuel L. Jackson. Bro. <laughs> I don't I don't know. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, but that'll be in maybe a like different video. Um, if this gets like ten lights, we'll definitely talk about it. Because I think it is something that has to be talked about that has always been very like consistent with the Star Wars franchise. And if we're really going to be honest, with the Disney franchise. Because um, with Marvel, they somewhat made... Uh, I don't know if you've seen the Captain uh, Falcon and like the Winter Soldier um, show. But they act like that um, Falcon has never been a black guy in, um, in like, here. So it's, like, weird how they wrote him also. So I'm actually wondering if, like, Disney has any black people that work for them who can tell them, hey, that sounds dumb. That's not going to work. Why not do it like this? I don't know, man. Disney just needs to learn how I mean, actual black people think. There needs think to be step-by-step guys on how to create a show or movie. I just want to start with a good show. Give me a good mm-hmm. story, then we'll worry about the characters. Give me a good <laughs> story first, and then we'll worry about the characters. If y'all can't even give me a good story, like, don't even create it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So in closing, because this is actually getting a bit longer, um, just this last question. Do you think that the Disney writers for Star Wars have even care about what what we want what no. star wars fans want no they want money they just they're just uh digging out as much uh of the nostalgia star wars franchise that george lucas has made to create and uh to get money off of it so they tried with the new star wars uh was it tr- trilogy with Ray Kylo Ren, and that was just absolutely awful. And ever since that, they haven't made any other uh, movie or show or anything that like further progressed uh, the Star Wars story or uh, mm-hmm. what's going on. Because everything right now is just related to Darth Vader or the prequels with Anakin and uh, when they were younger in the Clone Wars. They 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 haven't breached. They're too they're too scared to try to breach out and try to do another story uh, that goes further in the timeline. They are I am uh, excited just to see because they are making a uh, a TV series called Acolyte that goes back in time when the Clone Wars wasn't a thing. So I'm really curious on how they're gonna do that. So, but in terms of 
what they have come up with right now, no, it's complete trash. They they don't care. They're just trying to get as much money as possible, and they'll try to keep experimenting until they get something that people like, like uh, The Mandalorian, and they're going to keep doing something like that. Yeah, and that's what I was just about to say. And again, we're getting a little bit longer in the video, but since you brought up like The Mandalorian, what do you think worked there and why they can't like um can't like um can't like make that what is what made that great and what makes all this other stuff trash why can't they do what, what they did like with Mandalorian and do that okay one it's a character uh we have no background on so mm -hmm. it's, it's a fresh new story we don't know where the Mandalorian is going to go we don't know where uh, Grogu, Baby Yoda is gonna go. It, it's another story where we don't know how, cause they're doing, uh, they're bringing up Luke Skywalker a lot more. We want to, well, and my queen yeah, Ahsoka Tano. But go ahead. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's, let's not get into Ahsoka Tano, but uh, yeah, that's yeah, my baby. She's getting, she's, she's getting her own story that, uh, her own TV series that I'm very curious about. Um, but yeah, we're getting a story, a fresh new story about someone we don't know about on two different characters. That's kind of the big thing. And it's not, this story is not complicated in terms of, of, I guess, a lot of people have to think of, think of what's going on in the story. They, people watch The Mandalorian just to see The Mandalorian and, uh, Baby Yoda, Grogu. So that's. It's very simple just to keep track of those two and be like, oh, what, what are they going to do next? What's their next uh, journey going to take them? So that's kind of the simple thing. I'm actually wondering if they are going to ever make make Grogu a main character. I'm actually wondering if we will ever see a Yoda race main character because I feel like they really could have expanded more on Yoda himself on why he's so OP. Um, I don't know if any of, like, our, like, viewers have seen, seen, like, Star Wars, like, the Clone Wars, the, uh, the series, and it did touch on, on his training and all of that, but I wish that they would actually show a, like, progression on how something this small, something that can, that doesn't look like that they're that powerful, can just go ahead and just be a a god, like, a master. Mm -hmm. And it's just crazy that they just don't understand what we what we want to see. I don't know about everyone else. I would I would like to see that. And I would want to see, honestly, now let's get back to Obi-Wan, and we may need to end it off, off this. I want to see Darth Vader redeem himself. Because he looked like a punk, a chump, super, super weak, to this guy who hasn't touched, like, the Force in however long, who is a farmer now, and it's just crazy, man. It, it just made Darth Vader look so trash, and that almost tainted my my lens on this character who was supposed to be the quote-unquote chosen one or or this OP godlike figure that is just, we just saw him just get washed, and I personally didn't like that. Right. That's just me. My whole thing is like I'm cool with Darth Vader losing. Just make the fight a bit better. That's my oh problem. yeah, yeah. Don't 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 make Darth Vader go out like that. That's my that's problem. my problem too. Yeah, that they could have definitely done it better. Uh, but that's pretty much everything, guys. Um, again, ten likes on the video. We will talk about more Star Wars stuff. I personally like talking about it, and I know Vegas loves it as well. Um, so we would love to continue. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Vegas, what do you got to say in closing? All right. Uh, well, I'll see you guys next video, and uh, peace.